We can use Federation 2 as an opt-in preview um, using a gateway uh, v 20 alpha.0 or higher. And so I'm going to pop over to the demo now. And here we can see kind of uh, two subgraphs the products here in Federation 1. And this is an Apollo workbench, which is an extension you can get for VS Code. And we have, you know, extend on query, at provides to provide a field. Uh, we have to put external on the things from types that we're extending from other subgraphs. There's just a lot of special directives. And so now in Federation 2, those special directives go away. You don't have to use extend on your types anymore. And you don't have to use add provides. You can just add the field directly and then provide a resolver for that. And so all of this also supports the interfaces in Enum lifecycle, as well as additional composition hints that give you information about you know, how your schema will influence query planning and performance. Like, does it need to take an additional hop? Should you denormalize this? And these hints will be able to be fed up into Apollo Studio for higher level governance and design guardrails. So if we take a quick look at the problems, all of these hints are available here. And if you click on one of these hints, it'll put a little yellow light bulb above that. And so you can quickly navigate to the errors in your schema and understand kind of what's going on. So a lot better visibility into that. And then if we go ahead and use Apollo Studio with our terminal here, and we'll just go ahead and do a uh, make demo managed. So this is going to require our Apollo uh, key for the graph, and we'll go ahead and use that. And then we're going to be publishing to supergraph router dash fed two and the dev variant there. And so we'll just go ahead and press enter. And so now it's publishing these subgraphs to Apollo Studio. And so if we take a look at that um, here in Apollo Studio, we can see the product subgraph that we just published. We can see the inventory subgraph. And then we can also see the composed supergraph schema. And so when we look at the types in terms of uh, the product object, or really down here, the interface, it's taken that va shared value type and it's merged it together into a single unified type in the supergraph schema. So that as an API consumer, I have this simplified definition that I can consume and then it automatically spreads it out across all of the subgraphs in a completely transparent way. So with that, we can pop back over to our demo and we can see that we did in fact spin up some local subgraphs and the gateway um, that has Federation 2 support in it and that all the tests were successful. And this is available so that you can you know, get started on your own machine uh, today.